This is Julian from Luminatic.com and this is another episode of the Raw Challenge. If you don't know what that is, there is a group on Facebook, the Motorcycle Photographers Forum. It's a closed group only for motorcycle photographers, a very specialized topic. And we have different uh, topics and challenges going on and one of this is called the Raw Challenge. And the idea behind this is to post a raw image straight out of camera of any motorcycle image you have and other photographers in the forum are uh, entitled to edit this image. And today's image is from Eddie from Hawaii, beautiful Hawaii. And uh, Eddie is a graphics artist and motorcycle uh, photographer from the US and he's doing extraordinary uh, work. He's doing a lot of retouching, exchanging backgrounds and creating surreal and uh, just magnificent stuff. Uh, he's called 511 on um, Instagram. Actually, I have to put in uh, the link below because it's uh, 5E11EVEN. So it's a mixture of numbers and words, uh, difficult to pronounce. And um, so just check his YouTube channel, uh, his Instagram channel. It's a very uh, successful account and uh, well-earned success. So it's uh, just great stuff. Uh, so I'm a little anxious to edit something here because he's doing such a great, uh, such great edits, but let's see. Okay, um, at first I'm going into the development module and the first thing I'm gonna do is straighten the image a bit because it looks a little tilted. So I'm using the tool here, the, the um, I'm, I'm, I'm cropping tool and then use this tool here to draw a line and I'm looking for something vertical. And these posts here in the background, they are vertical. And so I'm aligning uh, just like this, okay? So now the image is straight. Okay, um, next, now no, this didn't look too right. Uh, actually, I'm going with the slider because uh, this looks a little better. Sometimes this, um, depending on the perspective, uh, the image is not uh, straightened. If you take an object in the background, that's a pers perspective thing. So uh, sometimes you have to shift manually like here. That looks better, okay. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is the bike is a Daytona R from it's a Triumph, Daytona, it's Triumph, right? And uh, I'm going to raise the dark areas a little to, okay, give the image a little more clarity to boost this a little, okay. Then let's see what the lights, now that's, no, that's not good. I'm leaving this as it is. Um, pro tip, if you uh, change the slider and you want to go back to the original position, you double click on the name of the slider and it goes back to zero. Actually here, I think making it a tad brighter would be okay. Um, now let's see what can we do with the colors. We've got a blue sky with uh, clouds and here I'm taking the, the color sliders and I'm putting in some more saturation on the blues and also toning down the blues a bit. Note that the blue line on the floor on the road also changes, but uh, that's okay for the moment. Um, let's see some more of the darker tones, okay. And uh, there is some red and yellow and green which I wanna bring out, but I don't think I'll do it with the color sliders because then um, the green here and the red here would also be affected. So what I'm doing is I'm using the brush tool and I'm increasing the saturation manually on these parts to just to give the, the reds and the, the green stuff here a little bit more punch as I like to say. I'm just painting the colored parts to increase the saturation a little. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, to see the effect, I'm deleting it and I'm undoing the changes. So it's, eh, it's subtle, it's very subtle. As you can see, when I go here, when I go take the slider to zero uh, or to minus 100, then uh, the color is gone. And okay, I'm, I'm emphasizing this just a little. Okay, here a little bit more. 
if you hit O, then you can see where you painted, so in case you overdid. And this is here the case, because I just want the logo here to be a little bit more colored. And uh, these parts here, the bike itself should not have increased saturation. Good. Uh, okay. Again, I'm blurting out a disclaimer. I am not claiming that this is the only way to edit this image. And I don't say that the technique I'm showing to achieve something is uh, the most clever or the best way to do so. But uh, this is what I'm doing and this is just like an offer. So uh, you can watch it and if it works for you, it's fine. And if you know a better way, then use this one. So this is no claim to be the perfect thing. Okay, um, I think this is as far as I wanna go in um, Lightroom. Let's see what a little bit more clarity. No, that's too much. Um, okay, and now I'm heading over to Photoshop to do the rest. I don't think I'll do a lot of heavy retouching or uh, not a lot of retouching at all. I have to wait until it opens. Ah, there we are. Okay, so here we have the image in Photoshop. And now let's try a little bit. Um, since I'm not the best at uh, removing stuff in exchange, no, at exchanging stuff, for example, exchanging this with a wonderful mountain background, I think I'll just declutter the background a little. You see a lot of stuff, you, you see posts, this is part of a, a sign or a building. You see posts here, there is a white area with some advertising, I think there is some, I don't know, solar panels or uh, a roof. Uh, it's all out of focus. And I think I'm just going to retouch this a little to isolate the bike more from the background. And here we go. At first I am creating a new layer and I'm doing all the changes, all the retouching in this layer. And again, this is called non-destructive editing. So the original image is untouched. It's also locked here with this uh, lock symbol. And I'm working only in this touch up layer, touch up. So I'm using the cloning tool. Since this is already a very well taken photograph, um, I don't have to do much. So I'm all I'm doing now is cloning away oh, uh, certain parts. And here you can see uh, instantly a mistake I made. Um, the brush has got a very big, uh, very hard, it's a very hard brush. The hardness of the brush determines how strong the edge of the brush is. And this one was uh, too hard. So I'm having a very sharp corner and by copying stuff, uh, the two areas of the copied corner and the underlying layer don't blend well into each other. So I'm putting the hardness down to zero. And, oh, sorry. Okay, you have to click. Okay, hardness is down to zero. And now you can see how well it is to work in a non-destructive manner. I'm just selecting the eraser tool. And now I have to erase the stuff I painted over. Okay, going back to the cloning tool, hitting S. And now let's see how this works. Okay, I'm removing stuff here. Careful not to overdo it. Okay, that was... There, I copied something I didn't want to copy, so I have to delete this again. Okay. And uh, let's take a sample from here. So what I'm doing now is I'm selecting areas where, um, where there are similar patterns in order to reduce the stuff in the background. So you can see here, there's a post here, a uh, lot out of, much out of focus. You nearly, you barely can't see it. So uh, I'm just erasing this. Okay. Erasing, no, not erasing, but cloning away this stuff here. Okay, that wasn't good. Uh, let's start here. this post here, uh, remove it and, and by removing all that stuff uh, the image becomes uh, tidied up. Okay, this part here, 
No, that wasn't good. So. Mediocre. Ah, but that's okay. Okay, uh, I don't want this, so I'm selecting, in fact, just taking a, tie, a tad a little bigger brush, selecting an area here, and now I'm cloning away this here. And it's gone. Um, this part here is also a little distracting, so I'm trying to clone the, the hedge or the bush a little bit in to here uh, you have to be careful because now you get repeating patterns because the area from where you copy is not that big and you will get repetitive patterns and you've got to you got to check that it's um, that doesn't look too artificial at a first glance uh, here. so in order not to paint over the bike here I'm going to mask this part I'm using the lasso tool now I'm um, Carefully, the soft border, pff, how much? Let's say five pixels. This uh, value here determines how soft the border is between the um, cloned part and the part you don't want to paint. Okay. There are many ways to mask, and uh, lots of tutorials on how to mask something. Uh, you can use the quick selection tool, which would also have been a good choice, I think, but I'm trying to work with this one now. Okay, so I'm, ah, I worked too quickly. Clicked too quickly. Okay, that's good. Hey, come on. I want this too. Yep, okay. So now I, okay, you see that I didn't work too well here, so I have to select this here too. And I have to deselect here because I selected something from the license plate, which should have not been selected. Yep. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, it's not the, the most perfect um, selection, but let's hope it works. Okay, let's see. Oh, and it's gone. It's nice, nice, nice. Okay. Ah, doesn't look, no, doesn't look too well everywhere. So I have to redo something. So I'm just painting something over. Oh, that's okay. That's here. Okay, there I missed the part. The selection wasn't too perfect. You see that the selection is not absolutely perfect because you see here there is a, a, um, a white rim around the selection here. So that's where the selection is unsharp. So the underlying uh, uh, brighter layer is shining through. Um, I could have improved uh, the selection a little, but... Uh, yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself because I'm not very good at that. So uh, to, to give you a um, small, okay, this is what we've done so far. We've deleted or overpainted, retouched uh, some of the stuff in the background. So the image is a little uh, more tidied up now. Now let's see what else we can do. Um, you, we see here something in the background, which should also be this one here, because this is inconsistent. You've got uh, green, 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 and then there's a yellow patch. So again, I'm taking the lasso tool, lasso tool, perhaps tuning down the selection to three pixels to make it a little sharper. So, okay, it's a little difficult to select here. As I said, so, uh, selecting and masking is um, an art of its own. So uh, there are many ways to do this and to improve it. Portrait photographers who have to retouch pictures of models with uh, a lot of loose hair uh, know what I mean. So there's all the hair that has to be cropped out of the set or has to be included or excluded in the selection. And this is uh, actually a, a science. Okay, uh, 
not so sure how it will work. This could be a little bit enhanced. Okay, some of the more experienced, I think if, if, if Eddie is watching this, he will uh, cover his face in shame what I'm doing to his image, <laughs> how I'm working with his image. But hey, uh, as I said, I'm also concerning Photoshop. It's a, it's a lifetime worth of learning and uh, you can do so much with it and ah, uh, this looks shady. You see, because the, the, the yellow rim below is shining through. So this looks quite artificial. So let's see. So what I can do now is uh, I've got the selection and I can expand the selection to cover a few more pixels. And this is done by, now I have to look for it. Um, selection, I'm sorry, this is in German. Uh, selection, um, improve or, or change selection or edit selection. And then it's a vital um, 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 enhanced. So make it bigger. Yeah, by the way, triumph, correct. Uh, so let's say I want to enhance it by two pixels. So it's a little bigger now. So I'm also covering now something which does not belong, which does belong to the bike, but frankly, I don't care. So I'm painting again and let's see how the result is. Well, that's a shame. So I'm trying to review uh, what I have done so far. So, uh, okay. You still see a green yellowish tint here. Um, I'm dealing with this later. I'm going to put up a, a layer which uh, reduces the color here. Um, this is not the most clever way to do it, but uh, I don't want it anyhow. I'm trying to clone it away. Let's try to clone it away. Um, I'm using a smaller, uh, smaller brush and I'm taking the darker parts here are not yellow and I'm, I don't think this works. Okay, uh, editing here and here and see how this looks from a distance. Hmm, still a little strange. Okay, uh, it doesn't look too perfect now, uh, but just a sec, no, that's okay. Okay, I'm leaving it like this. This is not the most perfect thing. Also, when editing, you always have to keep in mind uh, where do you want to show the pictures. If I'm zooming in like this, then I see, oh, that's a shitty retouch job. But uh, you got to think 98% uh, of the images are consumed on, um, on mobile devices and then you see the image like this. So uh, if there are imperfections in your retouching job here, nobody will see it. Um, this is, of course, also an excuse for lazy people like me, uh, not to dive too deeply into the matter, but uh, also a thing you also have to keep in mind if nobody is seeing it, then who cares? Okay, um, trying to remove some of the stuff here. So there is a fence again with some posts. I'm trying to get rid of the posts. This looks like a sign which is out of focus. This is cloned away. <laughs> Tried to do it and uh, it didn't work. Okay, let's do it again. This corner and yeah, better. Okay, so this is gone. Now let's clone away uh, this po post here again. Okay, don't become sloppy. Uh, you're already sloppy enough. So, okay, put it here and then in parallel paint this down. Move the mouse. Okay, that's okay. Still a small rim. doesn't look too well in this part here so okay now I'm really messing it up again how does it look when I'm going a little bit away again nobody will notice let's erase this part to make it a little more consistent okay yeah that's okay this white part here is also a little distracting there's also something about the shoulder here see if we can get rid of this um, but first this here it's a balloon thing or whatever and it's gone no. and here okay 
So it's tidied up a little. Now I'm seeing switching back and forth. I see the imperfections. Look at this area. Switching back and forth, you see how sloppy I did this. I'm overpainting this again. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see if I can remove this stuff here. So actually, this must be a very pretty boring uh, tutorial because uh, all I'm doing is cloning away stuff all the time. Uh, but anyhow, that's the raw challenge. And as I said, that's the way I am editing images. Okay, I'm now, in order not to make this video too lengthy, trying to get rid of this stuff. There's a building or a sign showing up behind the rider. Uh, it's difficult to mask because it's all out of focus. And the borders or the, uh, the borders where the two areas meet, rider and background are uh, flowing into each other for a few pixels. And uh, that makes it difficult to mask it. But let's give it a try. Okay, let's try it like this. And now I'm trying to take this and yeah, okay. Stupid people do stupid things. And let's see how this looks without. Mm, eh -eh. I still have to correct something here because you can see there the, it's the border where the selection wasn't that good. Yeah, I painted a little over the. Okay, and there's still this small thing, and now I'm too lazy to mask, so I'm just taking a cloning tool and I'm, I'm now cloning this out very unsharp but it's quicker than masking that okay uh, last thing I want to do is to get rid of this holding up because to isolate the hand a little more I am going to do this and now I'm also very lazy uh, okay, zoom in a little dear Eddie I hope you are not furious the way I'm editing your wonderful image. I think you can do a much better job than I can do. Okay, as you can see on the here on the, on the border, I accidentally painted a little with a soft brush over it. So I'm um, erasing, making a smaller one and going here around the rim of the biker so that the glove is not overpainted. Okay. Oh, same happened here. Okay, I also could so do some minor touch-ups here on the ground and uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm using the uh, healing brush, he uh, healing patch tool. I wanna get rid of these smaller pieces of rubber, stones, whatever this is. Okay, this is just the, the minor stuff. It's not really distracting, but uh, anyhow, good to get rid of it. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. They, they are not that bad. So, okay, there are some, there's a, an orange patch or a beige patch. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do it with the cloning tool and clone away this part here. And there's something blue in the background. So I am cloning away the blue stuff. How does this look from afar? Again, no one will notice. I'm thinking about getting rid of the blue line here, but on the other hand, nah, looks good because it gives some kind of uh, then some kind of direction uh, where the bike is going. So whew, going in this direction. So I'm leaving it in. And last thing I'm going to do is uh, sharpening, and I am merging these two layers by hitting Command and E. And now you've got two, uh, uh, both layers in one. I am hitting Command A, Command Copy. I am undoing the uh, merging in order to um, uh, not to destroy uh, the um, 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 non-destructive editing thing. And now I'm hitting Command V to insert this layer. And I'm applying a high pass filter. High pass filter, as you will see, can yep, 
it highlights the the edges, the corners, so the structure, and uh, by uh, applying this um, slider here, you select how uh, how hard this filter is being applied. And usually, as a guideline, I am applying the filter in such a way that the main parts of the bike are well uh, or a little visible. And then you have this wonderful gray image. And now you have to merge or not to, to blend these layers together. The blending mode now is normal. That means what is on top is visible. And now I am uh, merging <laughs> in another copy. And then here we go again uh, to merge into each other. It's another way, word in English above soft light, soft light. Uh, I don't remember the English word for this. OK, in another copy. And now what it did, I'm switching it on and off. The, the image became a little bit crisper when I'm zooming in and out you see for example the the name here on the bike has become very clear and uh, all the details are all a little sharper and that's what we wanted to do okay um, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed it although it's not a spectacular edit uh, it's still uh, something so I decluttered the background a little bit in order to focus uh, the attention on the bike and sharpened it at the end and uh, this is a shout out to Eddie uh, perhaps you want to share a screencast of one of your edits uh, I'm really curious to see how you do your works of art so thank you very much if you're interested in motorcycle photography join the motorcycle photographers forum on Facebook and Thank you very much. See you again. Bye.